is now that you know the Pune festival at large has become such a tremendous success and there's this very very uh, good feel about the festival. Uh, uh, when you look at the festival in particular, what over the years you've seen has been the attributing factor or the focal point that has made this uh, festival such a success? Uh, the Pune festival is uh, eight years old. It is uh, built around the Ganesh Utsav, which Lokmanya Tilak started 100 years back. So the Pune festival is an add-on to uh, what's already going on in Pune. Lakhs of people are participating. It's like 100 Woodstocks. So we have 10 days of song, dance, music, drama. And we got called the top artists in the country for the festival. And there is uh, song, music, drama, as well as a lot of sports. And uh, such a variety no other festival provides in India. So it's fast becoming the, one of the finest festivals in the country. And every year the festival has been growing. And uh, 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 a lot of foreign travel writers have been coming. So all the travel agents around the world all the embassies know now that there is a thing called the Pune Festival. And uh, two years down the line, 1998, uh, we'll have the 10 years of Pune Festival, which we want to make very big, call a lot of uh, major travel agents and travel writers from all over the world. And uh, from then on, no looking back. Just one very important question I'd like to ask you, because I'm a political journalist and you are a, you're a man highly involved in politics. Now, how do you take your time off to, to, to do such a grand uh, cultural show like this? How do you really manage the whole thing? No, life is full of compartments. So, uh, and Pune is such a great city with such rich culture, cultural heritage. Uh, as the member of parliament Pune, I have to keep it up. One very important aspect which I personally observed, again I'll say because being a political journalist, I see people from different parties, irrespective of maybe whatever the inner uh, contradictions or ideological uh, barriers would be, contribute to the well-being of the festival. How do you feel about this? How do you react? No, it's good, you know, it's good. Uh, uh, Pune has got very uh, mature political uh, leadership from all parties. And that's how for development of Pune, we never uh, bring in politics in Pune. So that's very nice. And. Uh, 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 the Pune Festival Committee has involved the Maharashtra Tourism Development Corporation and the Department of Tourism Government of India. So whichever political parties are there, uh, uh, it's uh, their festival also. Now, one very important uh, factor, just one thing, how do you really distinct your festival with so many other festivals going all around? What is the distinctive feature really about the Pune Festival? The Ganesh Utsav. You see, it is... Uh, uh, built around the Ganesh Utsav, which is 100 years old. Lokmanya Tilak used it as an instrument to fight the British. And so uh, uh, he f uh, we wanted to uh, have all the cultural co uh, component. It's a socio-cultural uh, event in Pune. And uh, lakhs of people take part. It's, it's something which you can't see anywhere in the world. Uh, one last question. This festival in particular, if you really sum it up, what do you? What is the thing that you are looking forward to, which would be the very exciting event, or maybe the most <coughs> no? But uh, no, I look at uh, this festival as uh, uh, putting Pune on the tourist map of the country, and in the liberalised uh, context of India, uh, Pune as the major industrial destination. I want to project both these uh, through the Pune festival. Uh, one more question I'd like to ask because you just said this is a very important point. Now, this is agreeable that the festival has come on the map somehow, somewhere or the other. People have been writing about it. You very rightly pointed out there have been travel writers who have been coming and writing about the festival. How much do you feel that tourism industry per se has been uh, had a boost because of the festival? Like you see, uh, one shouldn't expect miracles. Uh, uh, like boosting of the uh, tourism in Rajasthan, it took a lot of years. Uh, but uh, we'll take uh, time. Uh, uh, we are in infancy, but as I told you, from the 10th year of the festival, no looking back. Thank you very much, Mr. Thanks a lot.